Uh, yes, you do. Like, if you invite me on a date, I have to look a certain way. And it's your job as a man to make sure I look like that. I'm looking for men in Singapore. Single? 28 to 48. So this woman is going viral for saying this about her date and paying for her nails the moment that she brought it up. I told you I was going to get my nails done. You about to go do that right now? Yeah. I was first. How are you going to get them done? Uh, I don't really know yet. Okay, then go ahead and get them breakfast done. Oh, shit, look, just go ahead and call me back. I think you're done with just pay time. And I'll let you know, you know, after that. I mean, that's it? Like, you're not going to ask for my cash up or nothing? Uh, you invited me on a date and I need my nails done. I mean, I thought it would click in your head while I'm telling you I'm going to get my nails done. Oh, no, I, I asked you on that. I asked you on that. I'm not, wait, hold up. Let's back up. I got to get your nails done to take you on a date? Uh, yes, you do. Like, if you invite me on a date, I have to look a certain way. And it's your job as a man to make sure I look like that. Like, baby, who raised you? It seems you like your said, parents you failed. Said, you just said it, though. I'm not your man. Okay, but you're trying to be taking me on a date. Mean you trying to be my man, right? No, I'm trying to be on a date. Okay, so you need to show me that you even worthy of me giving you my goddamn time. Wow, that's crazy. I pay for my girl dates, but I, I don't even. I'm still trying to get to know. It's giving, it's giving broke energy. It's giving broke energy. It's giving broke. It's giving broke. It's giving broke. Y'all, y'all do so sassy. You're a little sassy ass motherfucker. Y'all, it's giving broke. You good? Don't contact me. You good? Fuck up. Sound to me like you trying to be on part of the grown women asking for money series. Look, all I'm going to say is, if you single in 2024, I'm going to pray for you. Because it seems to me as if the, the shit that I'm seeing on the internet, that uh, nowadays a lot of relationships are being viewed as transactional. And then on top of that, we're talking about a first date. I barely even know you. I'm not, I'm paying for the date. I'm not paying for the preparation of the date. Like what? Like, you want a man to pay for your nails and, like, all this other stuff that women, you know, take into account when they're getting ready for a date. And then you might not even really like his ass and then you just leave him in the wind. After this man don't drop hundreds of dollars because we're not going to sit here and act like, you know, getting your nails done only costs you 40 bucks. Because I know damn well it don't. Guys, the reason she's able to make such a very, very unreasonable request is because some guy from her past actually did it. And by the way, this guy got nothing out of it, which is why she's still out there trying to get the next man to pay for her freaking nails on the first date. Absolutely crazy. I've been in a relationship with a married man for about 19 years. We have a 17 year old daughter. We okay. just sent her to college. Okay. okay. Great. I love him and I believe 100% that he is in love with me. Okay. okay great. We finish sentences. We know the B-sides and records that nobody knows. Okay. Right. So all of that is wonderful. But he's married. Oh, not and, to you. And not to me. And I know that that is not technically okay. So basically, this woman, she's been a side chick, a full-time side chick for the last two decades. Gentlemen, please let me know in the comment section. Do you think the reason for this is because that man is a high-value man? Do you think she'll rather be a high-value man's side chick than an average man's full-time first chick? You said in your 20s. You was having fun. Uh -huh. Would you say that you bamboozled a bunch of men? Hell yeah. Okay, fair. So we're in agreement, right? Mm -hmm. You know why men in their 20s can't bamboozle women? Because we don't got no money. Period. Mm. So you know what happens? We spend all of our 20s uh -huh. getting bamboozled. Okay. And I'm not pointing you out, Lex, but a beautiful woman like you, who we may have thought like that could be my wife. Mm. And you bamboozled us in our 20s. Now got money now time to do the bamboo it's time to do the bamboozling <laughs> and what happens is is when a woman is now in her position late 20s early 30s yeah. she's like i'm ready to be someone's wife yeah well now you've been you finna get bamboozled yeah. but you know and i'm just being honest that's that's that and, and i'm not saying it's okay right but what i'm saying is is that you had your time to bamboozle a man can't bamboozle until he got the resources to yeah. do some bamboozling guys do you agree with what this gentleman just said when women are at the prime 
they don't want to settle right but they expect us to settle down when we are in our prime and a lot of men now are just not having it why should a guy date you well i put them as my number one priority loyal and i don't entertain any other guys they have my full attention and you think a man values loyalty the most in his woman yes 100 percent. why would a man want that because why does a man want a girl that talks to 50 million other guys so if we were dating and then you had a guy slide in your dms and he said hey you're beautiful mm -hmm. how would you respond to him what you wouldn't tell him sorry i have a boyfriend nothing I respond at all i'd send it to my boyfriend and i wouldn't respond at all what gives you that mentality because i want the same respect so i'm going to respect them to have that same respect in return so you're a man if a chick dm'd him he should act the same way yes 100 percent. what if your man was like a gynecologist and he worked around women all the time would you feel a type of way about that if he gave me a reason not to trust him then yeah but if he gave me every reason to trust him then no i think she's got a point but finding that is very very difficult because the average western woman is only loyal to herself give it up on the first night <laughs> i said what i said and i will not be taking that back whatsoever give it up on the first night because now that i think about it every girl i know in a happy and thriving relationship gave it up on the first night and like we all laugh about it because like you know like whatever we'll be like at a dinner table and then I'll be like, yeah, I give it up to Nick on the first night. And then they're like, oh my God, like me too. Long lasting, happy relationships. I don't know what that says, but Nick always says like, you knew what you wanted and you didn't really care what I thought. And I thought that was attractive. Wow, guys, let me know if you agree with her on this one in the comment section. Personally, I do agree with her 100%. When I look back in my own dating history, whenever a woman made it difficult for me to get laid the relationship was always a nightmare and did not end well but the women who put out on the first date second date or at most third date we usually had a very very good relationship so i just believe that if a woman does not want to sleep with me as soon as possible she probably does not really like me so it's better for me to just move on. I'm gonna say it, I'm gonna say it, and you're not gonna like what I have to say. You're not gonna like it, man. You're not gonna like it. Where are the real men at? I'm sick of it. They don't make men like they used to. I'm gonna say it loud and proud because tell me why men these days, they don't wanna do an oil change. They don't know how to change a tire. They don't know how to do anything. If, if Google doesn't know, babe, they don't know. Tell me why my dad knows every single thing to do with his hands. I could ask my dad to literally build a bridge for me to get to the other side of the road. That man will do it within one hour. You ask a man the, this day and age, hey, uh, can you tell me how to check my tire pressure? Uh, yeah, let me, let me Google that. What do you mean you have to Google it? What do you mean you have to Google it, man? What do you mean? You are a man. This is what you're built for, babe. This is what you're built for. And you don't even know how to ch check my tire pressure. <sighs> Please. I'm sick of having men that don't know how to literally use their hands. I'm sick of it. Be a man! Guys, she's got a point. There is a lack of quality men. But that's also because there is a shortage of quality women. One out of four women between the age of 18 and 35 has a kid by another man. Over 50% of women in that age group is a financial liability. So she's got student loans with a worthless degree. A lot of these women also have too many tattoos and piercings that men simply do not find attractive. So which one comes first? Is it a shortage of quality women that has led to a shortage of quality men? Or is it a shortage of quality men that has led to a shortage of quality women? Guys, over to you. Please let me know in the comment section. Whoever is praying for me not to find love, I rebuke you in the name of Jesus Christ. Huh? I pray that love find me.
I pray that love romances me soon. Well, sitting in your home and hoping for a man to meet you there, I'm not sure even God is going to answer that prayer. If you want a man to actually find you, you need to put yourself out there. Treat it as a full-time job. Maybe smile a little bit more. That goes a long way into getting a man to even want to approach you. I'm looking for men in Singapore. Single, 28 to 48, who like Mexican food. Okay, I lost the rhythm of the song there, but I am actually looking for men in Singapore. In single, oh, I am actually looking for single men in Singapore who want to come to a matchmaking supper club next week. I am so freaking excited. This is like a next level version of Singapore. Sit down dinner, four courses, amazing Mexican food. Plus, I'm working with Patron Tequila and you're going to have a drinks pairing at every course. So if you're a single guy, you like Mexican food and you want to go to an event? Check the link in my bio. A lot of men have stopped showing up to these events because men have realized that it's going to be the same thing as always. 80% of the women being attracted to the top 10, 20% of the men. So the remaining 80% of men are just going to be out there wasting their money, buying drinks for women who simply are not interested in them. So men have caught on and they'll rather keep their money and they are just not showing up. Guys, I want to hear from you in the comment section. I love you all. I will see you soon.